Welcome to Side Notes. I'm out and about today. I'm at the Yorkville Exotic Car Show. I'm here with the CEO of Prostate Can Cancer Canada, Rocco Rossi. Rocco, thank you for your time. Thank you so much for coming and exposing the show to people. And you did the, the draw today for the, the Rock the Road raffle where you uh, we had a Corvette, brand new Corvette. You know, who won that one? Well, a uh, uh, very lucky uh, gentleman, Gary Paley in Thunder Bay, Ontario, was the, uh, was the winner of the lottery. This is the second year he's purchased tickets. He purchased it in last year's draw. We're so thankful to our generous partners at TATA, the Trillium Auto Dealers Association, which are the new car dealers of Ontario. They gave us the car outright. Uh, and so 100% of the proceeds go to Prostate Cancer Canada. It doesn't get uh, any better than that. Everybody's a winner. The last time we talked to you, you were talking about all these different fundraisers you guys are going to do. Uh, you just did the, the pants off in uh, Vancouver, Toronto, uh, Montreal, and Halifax, and other Canadian cities. And there's other uh, fundraisers you've done. What are some fundraisers that are coming up later on in the summer and towards the fall? Well, we've got a number of uh, car shows and golf tournaments over the course of, uh, of the summer. Uh, in, uh, in July, we've got a, a fantastic show at uh, Tim and Brenda's place. You can find out more at timandbrenda's.com. Uh, and this is a 200-acre farm at King and Western Road. And last year, something in the order of 800 cars, vintage cars, new cars, exotics, and over 10,000 people showed up. Uh, and all of the funds raised went to Prostate Cancer Canada. This year it's Prostate Cancer Canada and the Alzheimer's Society. So two amazing causes. It's a, it's a great event and that'll be happening in September. We've got uh, another wonderful car show uh, in, uh, in Brampton called Cruising for a Cure uh, at the Powerade Centre. And that's a wonderful event as well because uh, any man over 40 can get a free PSA test that day. And that's so important because in Ontario, we're one of only two provinces in the entire country that doesn't pay for PSA testing for men, which we think is ridiculous. Uh, and uh, so the show says, you know, nonsense. We're gonna, we're gonna make, that, uh, make that available to guys because guys, you know, we're, we're not that great about health. And, and any excuse to not do something is what men want to hear so if you tell them it's 30 bucks to get a test they say well i guess that means it's not important so i don't have to do it so i'll opt to do what i normally do which is not do it so at the cruising for a cure you have no excuse you come uh anyone over any men over 40 free test and you see some amazing cars and raise funds and awareness for prostate cancer canada well, one in eight men in canada actually have prostate Cancer. will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. And you know, how much does it, for the Prostate Canada, Cancer Canada, how much uh, each year are you guys uh, putting out to help raise awareness, uh, put money towards uh, research for the cure and all the rest of this stuff? Right. Well, last year, $25 million was raised for Prostate Cancer Canada. And uh, we're very proud of the fact that uh, our administrative and fundraising costs on that is less than 16%. So we're one of the top uh, in terms of efficiency charities in the in the country, and uh, that's making sure that the dollars are going to work in life-saving research and awareness and tremendous services. Um, anyone who's recently diagnosed, go to prostatecancer.ca. We've got all kinds of webinars, all kinds of expert series where you can find out uh, answers to questions that maybe you're a little embarrassed to. Uh, to ask live, but you can find it on the web. We have a 1-800 number with a free service in multiple languages. Um, we just want men to take care of themselves, and we know very often it's the, it's the people in the men's lives that push them. That's why today is Father's Day, and this whole period for Prostate Cancer Canada, we call it Do It For Dads, because when it comes to health, dads typically don't do it for themselves. And have you heard any stories of encouragement where uh, actually some people, survivors of prostate can cancer, have come up to you and said thank you for all that your organization's done? It, it's always a joy, and particularly when you see, you know, for instance, this morning we had a walk run right here in Toronto, and Todd McMillan, who, uh, phenomenal uh, football player, he's only 39 years old, he played for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. He paid, played five years for the Chicago Bears. I mean, this is an elite athlete 
And he was diagnosed at age 39, and now he is spending so much time talking to other men about it, and it's, and it's phenomenal. And he's had now dozens of men tell him, well, I guess if you can get tested and you're a you know, macho uh, football player, then I should as well. Guys get squeamish. We're embarrassed about these things. It, we don't like to talk about health below the waist unless we're bragging. And because of that, men die and suffer unnecessarily. You get detected early, over 90% of the cases, it is completely treatable. And we want men around for this Father's Day and for many more Father's Days to come. Well, thank you for your time there, Rocco. Thank you so much.